Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about the um, worksheet, the circuit training limits worksheet. I don't know if you guys have ever done a circuit before, but I figured I would um, give you some instructions because it's a little bit weird, but it's kind of cool once you get the hang of it. All right, so you always start with number one. Um, so like you try to work out this problem. You're taking the limit as y approaches two. So you plug this two in and see what you get. You end up getting 30 over five, which equals six. So now you're gonna look around the worksheet and try to find the answer of six like somewhere in these answer spots. So it turns out that that one is um, on the back here. So now this becomes number two. So then you try to like, you know, work this problem out now. So you're taking the limit as x approaches negative two, you plug it in um, and you end up getting zero over zero. So that means we're gonna have to factor and cancel. So, you know, you work that whole thing out and you end up getting 12. Then you look for 12, you know, with all the answers in the worksheet. And then that one ends up being here. So then that becomes number three and so on and so forth. The idea is that when you're finished with it, um, you know, you should get the final answer should be three to like get you back where you started. So you've like completed the circuit. Um, there's a couple of these, I think it's number seven, uh, and there's a few of them throughout the worksheet that you're gonna need to, it like involves trig, and it's not a limit as x is approaching infinity. If it's the limit as x is approaching number and a number and you end up getting zero over zero, I just want you to do them graphically for now. So just like graph this equation on your calculator. Um, this one, you know, ends up looking like this. So we're looking for the limit as x is approaching zero. So that would be two because the y value as you approach zero is two. And um, you, you know, work through the circuit like that. Please ask questions uh, if you guys have them. I will like send you the order of the answers, like which boxes, what number to like kind of see if you're on the right track. But the idea is that this worksheet, like it's, you know, it helps you correct yourself. Cause like, let's say you get an answer that's not one of the choices, then you know that you did something wrong, you made a little mistake, go back and try to fix your, your error. But if you have questions, just throw them in our group me discussion and um, we can help each other. All right, thanks guys.